Yeah, turn in there a little bit. Yeah, slide over there. There you go. Good, beautiful. Big smile for everybody. <coughs> Thank you guys. We'll start with Ricky and then we'll move uh, the table out of the way. Uh, photo off after that. But, uh, we're ready to roll when you guys are. Ricky, I see your family in the background. How influential have they been in this whole process for you? Man, words can explain the impact that they had on me since you know, I was a young kid. Um, my dad introduced uh, football to me when I was six years old. So, you know, he played a big role in my life. He's the reason why I play this game today. And obviously my mom over there too, you know, she just inspired me growing up. She's a strong woman, you know, seeing uh, fight the, the daily fight that she had to fight through each and every day, you know, and, and persevere, you know, just inspired me as a kid. So, you know, they're a huge reason why I'm here today. I see that your dad was a return man, a receiver as well, obviously positions that you've played. Was it kind of your goal in life to, to, to emulate him on the football field? Yeah, it got to that point, but I was actually playing quarterback at U football growing up. So I was going my own route for a little bit, but then I had to come back to that. So. Um, and then I started playing receiver when I got to high school, and then that's when I could, you know, look up to him and follow his footsteps. Ricky mentioned last night that you talked to Brandon Ayuk after you were drafted. Did you have an opportunity to talk to any of the other wide receivers there? No, I haven't. I just recently uh, met Debo, though. Uh, he's over training in Arizona, too, so that's kind of how I met him. But, yeah, he's good people, too. So. Have you been able to connect with Brock Purdy at all? Uh, he just reached out to me this morning, um, just congratulating me, saying we're going to get to work, and, you know, that's right up my road, so we're gonna get to work for sure. And he's from Arizona, so we're gonna get a lot of throwing sessions. Here. Did you discuss? The, last, did you discuss the seventy-point game? Did no, you discuss the seventy-point game? We did. Yes. Oh. I just told him I'm happy that I'm on the other end this time. <laughs> we're playing together. It's probably the last several hours since you got picked. I mean, what, what has it been like? What did you have to do? I was you have to get to the airport. You just landed a while ago. Give us a little timeline of what you've done since you got the call. Yeah, man, it's been a surreal moment for sure. Um, I'm just trying to soak it all in, man. Be where my feet are at. Uh, enjoy this moment with my family. Uh, my family's here. My girlfriend's here. So, you know, just trying to get the full experience, what it's like to be here. Um, and, you know, we're having a great time today. So, Ricky, now that you've had 24 hours, you slept on it, what does it mean to you to be drafted in the first round by the San Francisco 49ers? That's a, that's a, that's a great question. <laughs> Words can't really describe my feelings right now, man. Um, no, it hasn't hit. It hasn't hit yet. Um, just trying to soak it all in, like I said, man. Trying to be where my feet are at. Obviously, this is a legendary program, um, and I just appreciate the entire organization uh, taking a chance on me, man. And you know, I'm gonna prove them right. So I'm looking forward to you know getting the work in and you know showing everybody. What were your first impressions? Your first impression? by that CJ Stroud might be your, your biggest fan. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, I guess, what, what was your reaction when you, I assume you saw how upset he was? Yeah, we were communicating a little bit. Um, we were just showing our respect to each other. You know, I respect his game. Obviously, he's having a lot of success in his first year. Um, and he's gonna be a he's gonna be a great player. And he was just you know, giving his respect to me and um, in my game. Obviously, he was watching film on me throughout this entire process. So that was the communication we had. Did you had a chance to go out, check out the practice field or the stadium, and visualize what's gonna Okay, yep, that's actually what we just got back from doing. So, you know, just looking at the practice fields, imagine myself out there, I looked into, well, I didn't see inside the weight room, but we saw the, the building the weight rooms in, just visualizing myself being out there. I saw the, like, the little the wood set up that we were just discussing earlier. So it was, it was a cool thing. You, you showed a lot of route running polish your last year. What did you do to develop from, you know, when you started Arizona State to your last season? Yeah, man, just putting the work each and every day. And I just got to give all credit to my coaches, uh, my pops from Helen helping me with that too as well. But you know, all the all the people in my circle really, man, they they played a tremendous role in, you know, obviously improving my route running abilities and and then just the dedication I had to it, you know, staying true to it, staying true to the game and you know, going over film and doing everything I need to do to be a great wide out and improve my route running abilities. Who, so just put in the work for sorry. Who's been your biggest influence and mentor to help you with your route running? My biggest? Um it's a tough question because I had a lot of good coaches. Um, I had five different position coaches throughout my um, college career, so I had a lot of really good coaches to help me out. So it's hard to pick one out of the bunch, but um, I think all of them played an equal role. Did your background as a quarterback in younger years, do you think that might have helped some of your polish as a receiver, just seeing 
all that stuff from from the opposite side. Yeah, for sure. I think it's you know the game looks a little bit different when you're seeing it through a quarterback's lens. You know, finding that true understanding of the game. You know, knowing the spots that you got to be at in certain concepts. So, yeah, I think it definitely helped me um, from that standpoint. But you know, as a receiver, you got to be the quarterback's best friend, be with him all the time. You know, watching film with him and just be on the same page and communicate it. For sure, that's something that I'm definitely going to harp on doing. Um, you know, I was ex I was super excited when they told me I was going to be returning last year, so I look forward to continuing doing that. I gotta see the tape. I gotta see the tape. I gotta watch the tape. So if you guys be about to cut up for me, send it my way. I gotta watch it. So that's that's a great compliment. So I appreciate that. Herm Edwards says. I don't know. I gotta see the tape. Herm Edwards had some really good stuff to say about you. Apparently, to John Lynch and recommending. So obviously, your the circumstances of your transfer weren't acrimonious at all. How would you describe the reasons for your transfer and what it did for you? Yeah, man, I was just put in a position where um, I felt that my goals and aspirations, you know, I feel like I couldn't reach those, you know, staying there at that program, unfortunately, got to that point. But at the end of the day, you know, I had to make a decision, and that was the decision that I made. And, you know, luckily, a program like Florida reached out to me. And, you know, from top to bottom, you know, there's such a great staff over there. So, you know, they welcomed me right away. And it was just an easy process, easy transition, you know. How familiar are you with Kyle Shanahan's system and what you're going to be asked to do as a wide receiver? Um, well, I think that's one of my strong suits, just being versatile in my game. So, you know, whoever he asks for me, um, he's, he's going to put me in the best position. You know, that's, that's something that he does a really great job of, is putting people in uh, the right spots and, you know, attacking their strengths. So, you know, I'm excited to see where he, he's putting me in, uh, um, in the system, and you know, I'm excited to learn these plays. Um, I'm asking for the playbook now. I need to. So, I'm excited, though. Do you have a receiver that you pattern yourself after or kind of model your game after? Um, somebody I watched a lot was Brendan Ayuk. So he was my teammate. You know, I got to watch him freshman year, and it just felt like every time he touched the ball or was thrown his way, he was taking it to the house. So, you know, watching a dude like that really helped me, you know, seeing, you know, what it takes to get to that next level. And then from there, you know, just watching my own film, you know, uh, looking at guys like Justin Jefferson and, um, you know, Keenan Allen, Devontae Adams, Amari Cooper, and just stealing things from them. You know, they're doing at a high level, having high success at it. So. You know, I feel like if I put it into my game, you know, it's only going to make me a better football player at the end of the day. You mentioned a couple of times being where your feet are. Where did that philosophy come from? Yeah, just, um, I mean, that just comes from, you know, maturing over the years. I feel like, um, I feel like the, the transition from Arizona State to Florida really helped me, you know, grow as a man. And uh, that was something that, you know, I came to fruition with me. So, um, yeah, that's where I kind of learned it. Ricky, with an offense, you know, an offense loaded with weapons, how do you hope to impact this team this season? Is adding to the, the arsenal, really, of all the weapons that they have and um, have an explosive offense become that much more explosive. Um, I don't really know exactly where they're going to have me playing or you know how they're going to utilize me, but I know that they're going to put me in the right position to go out there and excel and make the right play. So um, I'm really excited. I look forward to doing that for this program. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll move the table real quick.